Okay, yeah, 10. So um, the next thing I'd like you to think about in terms of the manufacture of your product, um, we've done quite a few designs, so we should know where we are in terms of um, in terms of the ideas by now. We should have sort of some, like, some clues about the sort of types of material that you might want to manufacture your product out of. And what we're going to do is a couple of pages uh, just researching into materials. OK, so um, again, I've just gone onto the website and had a look at the example that was done by a previous student. She was using leather and she thought about using a different types of material, MDF, brass, all sorts of different things. So I want you to think about uh, all of your product. Gone too far there. I want you to think about your product and what materials might be most sensible for you to use. You might not know and you might need to do a bit of research to actually find out which materials might be more appropriate. There are reasons why people choose materials for certain jobs. For example, aesthetic reasons, because they like the color of it, the, the, uh, how it looks. There are also um, mechanical properties uh, that materials have that make it appropriate for your product. Uh, for example, if you wanted it to be hard wearing or you wanted it to be light or you wanted it to be durable, or, or something like that. So you need to be thinking about what your, where your product's going to be used and what it's going to be used for in terms of the uh, what a material would be most appropriate for this. Okay. So what we're going to do first of all is you're going to start another page. You're going to call this materials, and then we're going to do some research into materials. I'd like you to use our good old friend Google, find uh, some example pictures of those particular materials, as you can see here, leather, velvet pictures. Uh, copy and paste those in and then I'd like you to do some writing about those. So again, uh, the examiner doesn't want to see a big spiel that has been uh, copied and pasted from the internet. They want to see it in your own words, but you will need to research uh, into those to find out the sort of descriptions and what that material is good for in terms of the properties and things like that. OK, uh, what the examiner really wants to see is reasons why uh, you've chosen it. So why are you using MDF over a bit of plywood or why are you why have you chose to use oak over pine or wh whatever the reasons uh, you, you think are appropriate again they might be because of the way the way it looks aesthetics and things like that there also might be genuine reasons why uh, the one material is better than the other so this is going to take some research on your part uh, you're going to need to actually look into the properties of these materials, what the, these materials do well, what they don't do well, and why they, they would be most appropriate for your choice, okay? So just to reiterate what I was saying, please don't just copy and paste a load of information on the internet. I will see, I will spot it, and I will know if it's your, in your own words. And the most important thing is that you are commenting about why this material is most appropriate, okay? And again, at the bottom, we need to put in uh, an evaluation box looking at this material's choices and thinking about why you're going to pick the materials you want to pick for your product. OK, so we're starting to think really now about how our final product will be manufactured, what materials would be best. And we need to produce at least one page um, of materials. OK, materials you might want to look in, uh, look at are different types of woods, different types of metals, different types of plastics or or anything else that you've got in mind for your product that you've annotated on your initial ideas pages. Okay, so this is some research into materials, please. We're looking for at least one detailed page. If you want to do two and it won't all fit on one page, then that's fine also. Okay.